So here's what I'm doing. This is gonna be a SO50 pass. So that's a uh, Saudi Sat 50. It's been around for, geez, quite a number of years. 90s, I think. It's been, well, maybe not quite the 90s, maybe 2000s. But it's been around for a while. This is an FM satellite, and it's probably one of the most um, reliable satellites that we have right now. There's not a lot of FM birds, but um, we're getting some new ones. We got a few new ones here over the last uh, several months. But um, before I just go into a, a rambling spiel, let me ask anybody if they've got any specific questions and we'll try to hit those first. Hello, bands. So this is a uplink on two meters and a downlink on 70 centimeters. Anytime you're working any linear or FM satellite on the 70 centimeter frequency, you have to account for Doppler shift. You don't have to worry about it on two meters, but you have to worry about it on 70 centimeters, right? The higher in frequency, the more Doppler affects the frequency. And are you accounting for that Doppler under computer control, under CAT control, or just you're handling it with the VFO yourself? Or? Twisting knobs. This is, uh, this is the way I like to do it. This is uh, the most engaging way to do it. It's also, you know, People have said, you know, it looks like you need to have three arms to do that. Yeah, kind of, a little bit. You have to have pockets, at least the way I do it. You better have pockets. Two up and 70 down? Two up and 70 down. And that's always, or is that depends? It depends on the satellite, right? There are satellites that are inverse of that, but... Um, but they're always different bands? They're almost, well, today, I don't... Today, everything we have is two meters, 70 centimeters. So what to make a kit like that? Just a question. How long is that going? Six foot, six foot. Yep, this is, uh, this is MTC RG8X, six foot. Nothing fancy, bought it off the, bought it off the shelf. I've got an ICOM IC2730. When I'm operating by myself, I'll use headphones just so I can hear better. But of course, in a crowd, it doesn't work so great. So you just use this bird as a computer then? Trying to get That's exactly what it is. Yep, yep. I'm uh, I'm set up for 15 watts right now. I could probably do five watts, right? Because I've got a clear sky. Yeah. If I was trying to get through those trees or I had other obstacles, then I would go up to 15 watts typically. I'm going with 15 watts because I want you guys to actually see a contact, right? Yeah. Sometimes at five watts, you'll have, it's a repeater, right? So if you have somebody that's really strong, they'll capture the repeater and the five watt guys won't get in, okay? How far away, satellite? Satellite's about 250 miles away, traveling at about 17,000 miles an hour, okay? I've got a uh, elk antenna. This is a log periodic. Um, it only has elements in one plane, right? It's not a Yagi. It's not the... Uh, um, the aero antenna, this is a really wide banded antenna. So it covers both 70 centimeters and two meters with a single coax piece. That's another reason why I really like this. I don't have to worry about a diplexer. I don't have to worry about, this is as simple as it gets, okay? Um, the aero antenna probably has a bit more gain. It's probably a little bit better of an antenna, but you know, ease of use, a few dBs of gain, who cares, right? If you can make contacts, that's what matters. Um, I'll be using an app on my phone called ISS Detector. There's a lot of them out there. That's just the one I prefer. I think it's the best. It's a free app 
for tracking the ISS, ISS detector, right? I think it costs you four bucks, one-time fee to um, turn on all the rest of the amateur radio satellites, okay? So this pass is going to start in the um, northwest and it's going to end up over here. So we're going to lose a little bit of the pass because of the building. This is one of the challenges of roving, right? That's what we call when we go out and we do this on the road, we're roving. Every environment's a little different. Every environment has its own challenges. That's one of the reasons why I enjoy it so much, right? Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. You guys are welcome to get close here. If you haven't seen this, it's kind of cool, right? We've got this little circle here, we'll call that the donut. We've got this little dot on the path, we'll call that the meatball. You line up the donut with the meatball, and then you'll see as you move this, you need to adjust your angle to stay on that path, okay? So what I do is I take my phone, this isn't rocket science here, right? This is pretty easy. I put the phone against the boom, and then I use this to make sure I'm pointing at the satellite, okay? ISS detector, okay? <laughs> Let me make sure I get set up here and I don't talk right through. So the other person you make contacts with, how far away are they typically? So they can be, they're gonna be within the footprint of the satellite. If you think of the fact that the the uh, satellite's 250 miles in the air, right? It can see so much, right? Um, as long as you're within that footprint, I don't know, maybe, maybe 1,200 miles, right? End to end on that footprint. That's a guess. I could be way off, but that seems reasonable, right? I was in Colorado a couple of weeks ago, in Colorado, which is pretty much central part of the country, right? On the same task, I made a contact with um, Alaska and Mexico in the same pass. So maybe it's a little further than 1,200, maybe it's 2,000. All right, we've got eight minutes, so we're still doing good. Uh, what other questions you guys have? So the person you made contact with, are they expecting a satellite repeater contact? Yes. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're doing the same, okay. Yep. <laughs> so th they're either doing this like I am, right. or they're sitting in their house, right? They know it's happening. Yep, okay. and, and they've, got a, they've got a, you know, an antenna system that they're manipulating from the shack. I have five memories programmed into my radio for each satellite. Okay, I've got the center frequency, which if you look at any app and they say, this bird transmits on 442.990, right? That's the center frequency. Whenever the satellite is coming towards you, the frequency is higher than that center frequency. So I have two memory state or two memory settings. Um, ten, I have one at 10 kilohertz, one at five kilohertz, center frequency, one five kilohertz lower, one 10 kilohertz lower, okay? What's the maximum shift that you can see? <laughs> that's 20 kilohertz. It's yeah, that's yeah, that's it. That's, a, that's all you need, that's all you need. <laughs> yeah, so what I do here in the app, and you guys will see me when I'm making the pass, I'll be, I'll be looking for the satellite, I'll be turning the antenna, right? Because that satellite is tumbling and I need to make sure that I am aligned with the antenna on the bird, right? Otherwise, if I'm cross polarized, I could be giving up 20 dB a game, right? Which means I'm not gonna hear it, right? 20 dB is a lot. So this particular satellite has been stabilized? No. Okay, I'm on the second memory setting.
Or something. W5 ITR, no light 64. Hear me in the down light? W5 ITR, no light 64. That's W5 ITR, India Tango Romeo, Echo Mike 64. W4 RAA, I copy, good contact. Perfect. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 64. Whiskey 5 Quebec Zulu, W5 ITR. Here comes the flag. Thanks for stopping. Echo Mike 10, W5 ITR, Echo Mike 64. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 64. Echo November 34, I copy, big contact. Delta Zero Golf Australia W D Zero G O L Echo November 34. Echo November 34, I gotcha. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 64. See I, I didn't get in that time. That's why you want to have a full duplex radio, so you can hear when you're getting in. You have to also kind of wait for your spot. Debbie Five on TR, Echo Mike sixty four. Now, the other thing that you'll find is stations are they're, they're coming into and leaving the footprint, right? So you might hear a station over here that you're not going to hear over here. And you'll start hearing new ones on the second half of the pass. W5ITR, Echo Mike 64. So i got to find the satellite again. How often do you have to change frequencies? W5 ITR, go like 64. W5 ITR, go like 64. See, I'm not getting in right now. W5 ITR, go like 64. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 64. There might not be any operators over on that side. <laughs> Somebody over there. Could it be the Doppler? So I'm going to be running into that building pretty soon. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 64. <laughs> W5 
W5 ITR, Echo Mike 64. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 64. We're almost out. W5 ITR, Echo Mike 64. I think we're probably out.